Bless, bless, bless. This is the Down to Earth Podcast with your host, Sean Myrie. Oh, boy. Big news in the six. This is a PSA. Huh. You know, the Juno Awards. To people who don't know what the Juno Awards are, they're the Canadian version of the Grammy Awards, I guess. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised they have taken out reggae music out of their category, eliminated it. Recent news that they have they have eliminated the reggae category. Like, what is this? There's many reggae artists that are in Toronto or Canada that deserve a category. For years, it's been going on since 1985, right? The best reggae recording. What's going on now, man? Taking away that now, it's bad enough they don't even recognize hip-hop that much, but even reggae. What's going on? We got many great reggae artists from Toronto or Canada. Uh, there's a couple I will mention that were nominees or nominated. We got uh, Amoy, great artist, always doing music. We got Esco Levi, another great reggae artist, always doing music. We got Blessed, uh, other great artists, always doing music. We got um, Isis. We have many reggae artists. There's so much of them. And now they are excluded or, uh, because of what? Why is it that urban music is always the target? And it makes money. A lot of people listen to reggae music worldwide, right? So they're eliminating the category out of the Canadian Award, the Juno Award. Why? Makes me wonder, what's the real agenda? What do they have against reggae music? What do they have against it? Like I mentioned earlier, the other genre, another urban music, the hip-hop genre, they allow it because they see how commercially uh, big it is. And, you know, like they have a lot of, let's be straight up, the Caucasian population really support hip-hop. It's very commercialized. So... They can't really get rid of that, but it's still a struggle to recognize Canadian talent. Now, we go back to the reggae music, eliminating the category that's been around for 40 years. But it's not good enough? What's going on? One solution I said uh, I mentioned before, we just got to do our own thing, our own awards. Reggae, even hip-hop, your own awards we we can't um depend on them to to give us spotlight because right now they want to take away spotlight they're trying to take away well they are taking away the spotlight out of the junos the top award for canadian music reggae artists will not be able to be a part of this sounds kind of like to many discrimination against um let's be straight up traditional black music racism against it a genre eliminating them from a category a music award so your music you could work so hard and still not get recognized from a canadian association for music creators it's not good it's very sad there's a lot of great reggae artists now probably disappointed is this true well some people have confirmed it that it is true hopefully they uh change that because it doesn't look good it doesn't sound good a lot of people need to speak speak up more the community speak up this is a great opportunity to unite and fully see what you have as talent in the community and try to do more things together because right now if you ain't to get if you're not going to come together 
this is going to happen permanently. They want to take, take, take. Now you're not going to be rewarded anything. Reggae artists of Canada, Toronto, better stand together if you really want to be included in their Juno Awards. I've been hearing for years, you know, like, because my background is Jamaican and I do listen to a lot of reggae music, dancehall music, and uh, because my pops was a sound man. And I used to hear there's a lot of politics within the community. So hopefully it's that's not the case. There's politics, corruption, when it comes to, like, people being recognized. So I'm not surprised that's, like the six or Toronto culture, even in hip hop that happens. But um, right now, the reggae award for the Junos eliminated out of the category over 40 years it existed. And now it's gone. What's up? What's going on? It's crazy, man. Very crazy. Stand up for your culture, stand up for your community, because reggae music is worldwide, and I don't know what Canada's doing, what it, who, who they're trying to uh, punish, but it's crazy. We got great artists like Kirk Diamond, right? Kirk Diamond, a reggae artist who has, I think he has a park named right after him. And and he, he he's a nominee, he won. And you're going to take that away? That's crazy. All the reggae artists. Y'all, people, unite. Speak out. Speak out. Spread the word. If you want reggae to be part of the Juno still. Because this is straight out disrespect. Pure disrespect. Is it racism? We shall see. Bless up to everybody. Subscribe. This is Sean Mayer of the Down to Earth Podcast.